This is the video lecture for the topic N Sample Learning from the 4th unit of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. Objectives are to understand N Sampling techniques and to understand the different schemes for N Sample Machine Learning. N Sample Learning is one of the most powerful machine learning techniques that use the combined output of two or more models or two or more weak learners to solve a particular computational problem. For example, in random forest algorithm, we will combine the outputs of various decision trees so that the final output will be will get more accuracy levels. An ensembled model is a machine learning model that combines the predictions from two or more models. There are three common ensembled learning methods are there, bagging, boosting and stacking. Ensemble methods combine several decision tree classifiers to produce better predictive performance than a single decision tree classifier. So the main principle behind the ensemble model is group of weak learners come together to form a strong learner thus increasing the accuracy of the model. Bagging. Bagging is also called as bootstrap aggregating bagging. Aggregating. Bagging and boosting are meta algorithms that pool decisions from multiple classifiers. It creates ensembles by repeatedly randomly resampling the training data. So in bagging, entire training data will be uh, splitted into several samples and each sample will be applied to different algorithms and the final outputs will be an uh, analyzed and the final decision will be taken from the output of all the learners. Bagging is an ensemble learning technique that helps to improve the performance and accuracy of machine learning algorithms. This is the diagram that shows the uh, sample data sampling uh, will be taken from the entire data set. So here n num k number of data samples were taken from the entire data set. Each data sample uh, samples will be applied to the different algorithms and the algorithms provides their own predictions and the final output will be uh, taken by analyzing all the uh, outputs. Boosting. Boosting is also the ensemble modeling technique that attempts to build a strong classifier from the number of weak classifiers. It is done by building a model by using weak models in series. A model is built from the training data. Then the second model is built which tries to correct the errors present in the first model. So in this way the in each model in each consecutive models, the errors will be corrected and finally more accurate uh, output can be produced. So this way of boosting the performance level is called as the method boosting. This procedure is continued and modeled. models are added until either the complete training data set is predicted correctly or the maximum number of models are added. Boosting is a very different method to generate multiple predictions and combine them linearly. Boosting refers to a general and probably effective method of producing a very accurate classifier by combining rough and moderately inaccurate rules of thumb. Boosting is a bias reduction technique. It typically improves the performance of a single tree model. Ada boost. It is the first algorithm, boosting algorithm, developed for the purpose of binary classification. It is a short for adaptive boosting. It is very popular boosting technique that combines multiple weak learners into a single strong classifier. It was formulated by Robert Shapier. They also won the global prize for their uh, this particular work. Stacking. Uh, <coughs> stacking is one of the most popular in sample machine learning techniques used to predict multiple nodes to build a new model and improve model performance. Stacking enables us to train multiple models to solve similar problems and based on their combined output, it builds a new model with improved performance. Stacking is sometimes called as stacked generalization. It is the ensemble machine learning method that combines multiple heterogeneous base or component models via a meta model. It, this is this model, the base model is trained on the complete training data and then the meta model is trained on the predictions of the base models. The advantage of stacking is the ability to explore the solution space with different models in the same problem. So this diagram shows uh, the processes of stacking. Initially the training data set will be splitted and the hypothesis 
<coughs> the hypothesis are produced by the different learners that is hypothesis 1 up to hypothesis n each hypothesis corresponds to uh, the different uh, individual data sets n number of data uh, subsets and so from the hypothesis the predictions will be taken that is p1 p2 up to pn so all the individual predictions will be applied to the meta learner so uh, the previously these individual predictions n number of predictions were made by n number of learners learners n number of models and all the predictions will be applied to the meta learner and meta learners combined all the predictions and analyze each and every one and produces the uh, final hypothesis combined hypothesis and from the combined final hypothesis the final prediction will be taken so that the accuracy level of uh, the final output will be much higher so thank you